Hello friends and welcome back. Today we are going to see how the actors in the sitcom Perfect Strangers changed over time. Perfect Strangers is an American sitcom that ran for eight seasons from March 25th, 1986 to August 6th, 1993 on the ABC television network. Created by Dale McRaven, the series chronicles the rocky coexistence of Midwestern American Larry Appleton and his distant cousin from Eastern Mediterranean Europe, Baki Bartokamas. Let's see how they have changed in these years. Before we start, please subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Mark Lindbaker is an American actor and director. He appeared in the sitcom as Larry Appleton, born in Madison, Wisconsin, and is part of a very large family, of which he has eight other siblings. Larry, an aspiring photographer, gets his first taste of living alone when he moves to Chicago at age 24. However, this is soon quickly changed when my Posian immigrant Baki Bartokomus arrives at his apartment in the pilot episode, claiming to be his distant cousin. Although initially hesitant at having Baki stay with him because he was just getting used to living alone, Larry decides to let Baki stay until he got a job. Larry ends up taking Baki under his wing and tries to teach him about life in America. He appeared in 151 episodes from 1986 to 1993. He was 32 years old then. As of this video, he is now 68 years old. Bronson Pinchot is an American actor. He acts in sitcom as Baki Bartokomus, born and raised on the fictional Greek-like island of Mypos, where he eked out a living as a shepherd and dreamed of a better life in America. Baki is a naive, optimistic, well-meaning person. As Pinchot once said of his character, he looks at the world like a four-year-old and sees the world as benevolent. When Bronson Pinchot began auditioning for Broadway roles, he refused to do accents. Years later, his ability to do accents is what gave him his first break in film and led to television success as Baki Bartokomus, the odd cousin from a Mediterranean island who comes to live with Larry Appleton. He appeared in 150 episodes from 1986 to 1993. He was 27 years old then. Now he is 63 years of age. Melanie Wilson is an American actress who appeared in the sitcom as Jennifer, Larry's love interest for the remainder of the series, and she is introduced in the season 2 episode Hunks Like Us along with her friend and roommate Mary and Spencer. Like Mary and Jennifer had worked as an airline flight attendant. In the episode in which she is introduced, although Larry did not think that a woman like Jennifer would notice a guy like him, he had attempted to impress Jennifer by going to the gym she went to in order to try and impress her with his workout skills, which only landed both him and Baki in pain. Both Larry and Jennifer started dating, and their relationship began to mature and grow as the series progressed. The two became engaged to be married in season 6, got married in season 7, and announced they were about to become first-time parents by the end of the season. Jennifer gave birth to a baby boy, which they named Tucker. She appeared in 102 episodes from 1986 to 1993. She was 26 years old then. Now she is 62 years old. An American actress Rebecca Arthur acts in the sitcom as Mary and Baki's love interest for much of the series, and she is introduced in the season 2 episode Hunks Like Us along with her friend and roommate Jennifer Lyons. Like Jennifer, Mary and had worked as a flight attendant. She was written as being somewhat of the dumb blonde stereotype, and her funniest lines were statements that betrayed her comical ignorance. In season 7, after Larry and Jennifer buy a large Victorian house, they discover they cannot afford rent and utilities without additional roommates, which prompt Baki and Mary and to move in with them. In the last few episodes of season 7, Mary and and Baki break up and she moves out of the house. But they would resolve their differences and Baki and Mary and got married in a whirlwind ceremony in the 7th season finale. 
Mary and has her baby boy, who they named Robespierre. Rebecca appeared in 93 episodes from 1986 to 1993. She was 26 years old then. Now her age is 62. Ernest Sabella is an American actor and comedian. He portrayed Mr. Donald Twinkasetti. The character was as a series regular in seasons 1 and 2. Donald Twinkasetti is the owner of Ritz Discount Store, which Larry and Bucky worked during the show's first and second seasons and was the guy's landlord. He is depicted as being very rude and often takes shots at either Bucky, Larry, or both, so much so that he often refers to Bucky as Turnip. Mr. Twinkasetti is a ruthless miser who cares more about making a buck than heeding to the phrase the customer is always right. He appeared in total of 21 episodes from 1986 to 87. He was 37 years old then. Now his age is 73 years. Belita Moreno is an American actress. She acts in the play as Lydia while suffering from a variety of phobias and making some very dubious choices in her love life. Lydia was the Chronicle advice columnist. She often got into verbal conflicts with Harriet. She was introduced as a regular character in Season 3 and was a recurring character until the end of Season 7 when the Chronicle storylines were phased out in favor of focusing on the main character's home life. She acted in 46 episodes from 1986 to 1992. At that time, she was 37 years old. Now she is 73 years old. Sam Anderson is an American actor. He is best known for his character Sam Gorpley, the head of the mailroom and as Bucky's supervisor at the Chronicle. Gorpley never warms to Bucky, who he refers to as the Mippiot, and Gorpley ends up constantly plotting ways to get Bucky fired, which prove unsuccessful. It is interesting to note, Sam Anderson had appeared on the show before his bank employee Mr. Harper in the season 1 episode, check this. He appeared in 37 episodes from 1986 to 1992. He was 39 years old then. Now he is 75 years old. Jill Marie Payton is an American actress and singer. She acts in the sitcom as Harriet Winslow. She is an elevator operator at the Chicago Chronicle. Her policeman husband Carl is introduced in the fourth season episode Crime Busters, and the couple eventually moves into Larry and Bucky's apartment building. Harriet's character was spun off into her own series, Family Matters, in 1989, and was not seen again on Perfect Strangers, although it was explained on an early Family Matters episode that she was fired as elevator operator and later rehired as chief of security at the Chronicle. Jill Marie appeared in 33 episodes from 1987 to 1989. She was 37 years old then. Now she is 72 years old. Candy Milo is an American actress who is known for her voice acting work on cartoons and video games. She portrayed Gina Morelli in the play. Candy appeared in two episodes in 1986. She was 25 years old then. Now her age is 61. Bobby Jacoby is an American actor. He acts in the play as Eddie Harris. He appeared in one episode in 1987. At that time, he was 14 years old. Now he is 49 years old. Diane Delano is an American actress. She appeared in Perfect Strangers as Flame. The episode in which she acted on aired in 1989. She was 32 years old then. Now her age is 65. Bobby Hosea is an American actor who acted in the sitcom as a customer at Ritz Discount Store. The episode on aired in 1986. He was 31 years old then. Now he is 67.
an American actress Mary Ann Dorward appeared in the play as Diane. She acts in one episode in 1986. She was 28 years old then. Now she is 64 years old. Carol Bruce was an American actress. She portrayed Margaret and Mrs. Muffy Endicott. She appeared in two episodes in the sitcom in 1987 and 1988. She was 67 years old then. She died on October 9, 2007 at the age of 87 years. Carl Lewis is an American former track and field athlete who appeared in the play as himself in 1988. He was 27 years old then. Now he is 61 years old. Miss Susan Kellerman is an alumna of Randolph-Macon Woman's College, from which she received a bachelor's degree in English literature. She appeared in The Perfect Strangers as Marsha Manning. The episode on aired in 1987. She was 43 years old then. Now she is 78 years of age. Steve Vinovich was born in Peoria, Illinois. He is an actor and producer who appeared in the sitcom as a first customer at Ritz Discount Store. In total, he acted in two episodes in 1986 and 1988. He was 41 years old then. Now he is 77 years old. Sue Ball was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She is an actress and director. She appeared in Perfect Strangers as Elaine Appleton, the sister of Larry Appleton. She acted in one episode on aired in 1987. She was 20 years old then. Now she is 55 years old. Lise Cutter is an American actress who is known for her roles as Susan Campbell in the sitcom Perfect Strangers. She appeared in total eight episodes in 1986. Lise was 27 years old then. Now she is 63. An American actress Karen Lynn Scott appeared in the sitcom as Carol. She worked in one episode in 1986. An American actor and director Steve Whitting appeared as a delivery man. He acted in one episode in 1986. Ted McGinley was born in Newport Beach, California. He acts in the play as Billy Appleton, appeared in one episode in 1988. He was 32 years old then. Now he is 66 years old. Kimmy Robertson is an American actress and ballet dancer. She acts in the sitcom as a clerk and home level witch. She appeared in two episodes in 1988 and 1992. She was 31 years old then. Now she is 65. Reginald Vell Johnson was born in Queens, New York. He is an actor and writer who appeared in the play as Carl Otis Winslow. He acted in one episode in 1989. He was 37 years old then. Now his age is 70 years. Adept at both comedy and drama, character player Eugene Roche had an extensive four-decade career. He appeared as Harry Burns in Perfect Strangers. He acts in four episodes from 1987 to 1988. Roche was 59 years old then. He died on July 28, 2004 at the age of 75 years. F.J. O'Neill is an American actor. He appeared in the sitcom as Mr. Wainwright. He did 19 episodes of Perfect Strangers from 1988 to 1992. He was introduced in season three.
Native of Boston and graduate of Syracuse University, George Weiner has worked extensively in TV and film since 1972. He portrayed Marvin Berman and Dr. Aldrich in Perfect Strangers. He appeared in three episodes from 1989 to 1991. He was 44 years old at that time. As of this video, he is 77 years old. Rick Hurst was born in Houston, Texas. He appeared as Uncle Shaggy. He acted in one episode which was on aired in 1990. He was 44 years old then. Now his age is 76 years. Robert G. Lee is an American actor who appeared in the play as a delivery man. He appeared in five episodes from 1990 to 1992. Scott Marlowe was an American film, stage, and television actor. In the year 1990, he appeared in two episodes as Marco Madison. He was 58 years old then. He died on January 6, 2001 at the age of 68 years. Tony Longo was a working character actor for more than three decades. He appeared in The Perfect Strangers as Fat Jack. He acted in two episodes in 1987. He was 25 years old then. He died on July 15, 2015 at the age of 53 years. Wayne Newton is an American actor and producer. He acts in sitcom as himself. The episode on aired in 1992. He was 50 years old then. Now he is 80 years of age. Don Amendolia is an American actor and director. He appeared in the sitcom as King Ferdinand. The episode in which he appears on aired in 1991. He was 46 years old then. Now he is 77 years old. Doris Roberts was an American TV and film actress. She portrayed Mrs. Bailey, a housemaid. She appeared in one episode in 1989. She was 63 years old. She passed away on April 17, 2016 at age of 90 years. An American actor Eddie Barth appeared in the sitcom as a driving test examiner. He appeared in one episode in 1986. At that time, he was 42 years old. He died on May 28th. 2010 at the age of 78 years. Holland Taylor is an American actress. She portrayed Olivia Crawford in the sitcom Perfect Strangers. The episode on aired in 1987. She was 44 years old then. Now she is 79 years old. The son of a Dallas wholesale coal dealer, Nobel spent much of his youth attending pool halls and movie houses. James Nobel was born in Dallas, Texas. He appeared in two episodes in 1989 as Walter Appleton, father of Larry Appleton. He was 67 years old then. He died on March 26, 2016 at the age of 94 years. An American actor Jim Doohan appeared as Jimmy, the security guard at Chronicles. He appeared in four episodes from 1987 to 1988. At that time, he was 28 years old. Now he is 63 years old. John Del Regno was born in New York City. He acts in the sitcom as Vince Lucas. He appeared in two episodes in 1986 and 1988. John was 39 years old then. He is 75 years old now. An American actor Leslie Jordan appeared in one episode in 1992 as Rob Bob Phillips. He was 37 years old then. 
Now he is 65 years old. Marge Doucet was an American actress who appeared in the play as Lenora Dumont. She was acted in one episode which was on aired in 1991. She was 54 years old then. She died on January 28, 2020 at the age of 83 years. Thank you so much for watching our content. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. I would highly recommend you guys to watch these interesting videos as well. You would definitely like them. See you in the next video.